Hey guys, welcome to Mangaka Art Style Analysis, where we look at the art styles from beginning to end of a mangaka's career. Today, we're going to be going through the man Kishimoto, who did Naruto. So this is uh, Kishimoto's first manga debut, which was called Katakuri, which was submitted to Shueisha in 1995. As you can tell, this guy is basically Sasuke, and guess what? That's because it's the same freaking artist. And here's another one of his characters from the series. This was back when Dragon Ball and those types of series were like massive in terms of shonen manga. So like drawing like childish characters was was very in as opposed to like now our manga high schoolers look a little bit more mature in terms of design. Anyway, that series uh, was doing terribly, but it was the debut that got Kishimoto the access to his manga editor that eventually led to his current career. So he worked with an editor and, you know, produced drafts for a couple of other series that got ultimately rejected called Michikusa, which was a slice of life manga, took the L. And then there's another one called Asian Punk, which also got rejected probably because it had a shitty name, but who knows. And of course, if you know anything about becoming a mangaka, before you're allowed to serialize, you have to create a successful one-shot. So, Naruto was originally a one-shot for Akamaru Jump. Yeah, the original concept for Naruto, um... He's using his hair and he turns into an actual fox here, nice. Anyway, that was 1997, and actually, Akamaru Jump didn't end up continuing his series. Instead, he left Naruto as a one-shot and then continued on Katakuri and tried to serialize that with Shonen Jump, but it was doing horribly and it got canceled. So you'd probably think like, okay, wow, maybe then he gets his big break with Naruto. Uh, no. Kishimoto then decided like, hey, you know, maybe Shonen's not my thing. So he's like, let me try some Saini. Maybe, maybe Saini is my, my way. So he tried manga drafts with a baseball seinen manga called Yakyo. That didn't go through. And then there was another one called Mario, which is a <laughs> mafia manga. Mario also took the L. And so his Shonen Jump editor was like, you know, let's just 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 give Shonen another try. Just give it one more chance. And so instead, they decided to rework Naruto, the original one shot that was published at Akamaru Jump. And finally, in 1999, Naruto was serialized. Of course, Kishimoto's art was always amazing, but you can really see how he evolved from the earlier chapters of Naruto to eventually the Naruto that you guys see today. After Naruto finished, he went on to do Samurai 8, which was a manga about samurai in the future, where he was uh, leading with the story because he's probably tired as fuck after serializing for so long. That's unfortunately didn't do so well and uh, flopped, even though Naruto was was a crazy success. And now the man is back with Boruto um, on the story side again. So yeah, long journey, but like Naruto, he doesn't give up. 